In Hearthstone, when a card is apparently very strong in the metagame, it is often considered for a nerf or some kind of change to make the card more in line with the balance of the rest of the cards in the game. But sometimes when a card is nerfed, it is nerfed way too hard so it doesn't see any play or the card is changed entirely so it doesn't actually do what it used to. And this happens a lot more than you think because sometimes it's really hard to balance a card when the problem of the card is not just stats but more the effect around it. A perfect example of this was with Nat Pagel all the way back in Hearthstone Classic. They changed the card to say at the start of your turn, you have a 50% chance to draw an extra card rather than at the end of your turn. And this was a ginormous deal because Nat Pagel's biggest advantage is that he had a chance to draw a card the turn he was played, but now he has to live an entire turn just for a chance to draw a card. After this change, Nat Pagel saw a severe drop in play rate because while well, it turns out this was now a huge liability rather than a a decent chance of drawing an extra card but sometimes they go for a different route which is changing the mana cost of a card to lower its power in some cases blizzard goes a little bit too far and increases the mana cost a little bit too much for a card to literally see zero play afterwards starving buzzard was a perfect example of this when they nerfed the card from two mana to five the reason they did this is because starving buzzard paired with unleash the hounds was not only a ginormous tempo swing but it was a huge resource gain because you would draw a card for each hound summoned paired with a timber wolf this combo was extremely deadly but i think they went a little bit overboard with the three mana cost increase on starving buzzard because after they nerfed starving buzzard like this it saw no play now sometimes a card is so strong that blizzard literally doesn't know what to do with it so rather than changing the effect slightly or doing a mana cost increase they will change the card entirely and a perfect example of this is with warsong command Warsong Commander was extremely good paired back with the Grim Patron Warrior because every time you summoned a new Patron Warrior, it got to attack and it would keep the chain going and paired with a Frothing Berserker, this combo was deadly. Now, rather than just changing the effect to go from three attack minions to two attack minions, they decided to go with a change that I can never explain. Their solution to Warsong Commander was to change the effect from what it was to your charge minions have plus one attack. Now, if you thought the Starving Buzzard nerf was extreme, this one literally killed the card and the card saw virtually zero play because the effect was so specific and it was garbage. Now, not every single effect change has to be that extreme. Sometimes changing the card just a little bit is enough to completely kill it. But sometimes Blizzard thinks that that little effect change is not enough and we have to increase the mana cost as well. And a perfect example of this was with Blade Flurry, which went from destroy your weapon, deal its damage to all enemies for two mana, to destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemy minions to four mana. So let me get this straight. We're getting a worse effect, but we're also increasing the mana cost. Hmm. Now it goes without saying that Blade Flurry went from being one of the strongest cards in the game to just completely unplayable. All nerfs are not that extreme, but sometimes just a little bit of a stat change is enough for a minion not to see play anymore. Keeper of the Grove went from a 2-4 stat line to a 2-2 stat line and it virtually went from seeing play in every druid deck to none. It turned out when you take two health away from Keeper of the Grove, the card went from a really good one to a really bad one because of the loss of tempo that it provided. Agent of Lore is another great example of a really small change that just kills a card entirely. Agent of Lore went from being choose one, draw two cards, or restore five health to choose one draw a card or restore five health it turned out that changing one card draw on agent of lore completely ruined the card and it virtually saw no play afterwards i just wanted to add the dev comment to this because i think it's really funny thinking about what hearthstone currently is drawing cards is powerful in hearthstone and agent of lore easily found its way into nearly every popular druid deck we would like druid players to feel like other cards can compete with agent of lore so we reduce the number of cards drawn from two to one shortly after this dev comment was made we got ultimate infestation for druid which is just so ironic to look at sometimes they change 
change a card to just completely get rid of of why the card was used entirely arcane golem is a perfect example for this as it changed from a 4-2 stat line to a 4-4 stat line but then it doesn't have charge anymore so you get a little bit of premium stats for a huge downside and it can no longer hit the turn it's played interesting Another great example of this was Charge, which did get its mana reduced from 3 to 1, but it no longer granted plus 2 attack, and your minion that you targeted could no longer attack heroes that turn. So, in other words, it had Rush. Something wasn't adding up with this. Sometimes increasing the mana by 1 is enough from a card seeing play to a card seeing no play. Spirit Claws, which was one of the most dominant Shaman cards of all time, went from 1 mana to 2 mana, and it stopped seeing play entirely. Fiery War Axe went from 2 mana to 3 mana, and this card went from being the best weapon in the game to just absolutely no play whatsoever. Mana Worm went from a 1 cost minion to a 2 cost minion, and again, the card just didn't see play afterwards. Now, all of these changes were warranted in its own way. Spirit Claws was obviously really, really powerful. Fiery War Axe probably limited design for weapons for Warrior. And Mana Worm was one of the most snowballing cards of all time. It is actually just crazy to think that one mana is just the difference of a card being good to just not play it at all. One card in particular that I think was much needed but completely destroyed a card was with Tuskar Totemic. Now, I think the biggest thing about Tuskar Totemic was the wording was the biggest deal, and I think the way that they nerfed it actually made more sense for the card as it wasn't as high rolly anymore. Tuskar Totemic went from a battle cry to summon any random totem to summon a random basic totem. The previous version allowed the card to summon cards like Totem Golem or Manatai Totem, basically any totem in the game where now it can only summon one of the hero powers from Shaman. And this was a drastic deal because the thing was is that Tuskar Totemic was literally being played because of its high roll potential, not because you could summon a random basic totem. So that means sometimes a card is just being used to cheat out mana and get a huge advantage based on, you know, high rolling. Another great example of this was Necrium Apothecary from Descent of Dragons, which went from four mana to five, and it drastically changed how strong the card was, and the meta was no longer warped around it. Now, sometimes a card gets nerfed and nerfed again, and then eventually changed entirely because the card is unsalvageable and the perfect example of this is Mind Render Elusia, which got a huge change that no longer does what its intended effect was when it was first released. Mind Render Elusia went from a battle cry swapping hands and decks with your opponent until the next turn to replace your hand with a copy of your opponent's until the end of turn. Now, the reason why this card was so powerful is that you could build a board and then swap your opponent and they couldn't react because quite literally there would be nothing in your hand when you're playing Shadow Priest or you had actual counterplay against a combo deck that could just win you the game. And I understand why they have to change this card. It's too polarizing and, you know, Hearthstone shouldn't have a card that's just, I win the game if I have this card. But by God, the way that they changed this effect was just, ugh. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. I hope you ended up enjoying this video. And if you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. You look fantastic.